Om Jnana Timirandhasya Jnana Jnana Shalakaya Chakshurin Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha I heard it said, I'm not, it's not recorded anywhere, but I've heard it said that once Srila Prabhupada was waiting in an airport in India and the flight was delayed so long. Hare Krishna. And then uh, Prabhupada said that India is not meant for all these things. India is meant for chanting Hare Krishna and going back to Godhead. Not meant for all this technology. Now India has rockets going into space and of course there's people starving to death in India also farmers committing suicide and so many things you know people are starving in India it doesn't come in the newspapers but you can find it on the internet because they they move tribals out of there and they don't have anything to eat they t- anyway let's not talk about that so again thank you all for coming, even though you have to go to work tomorrow. Um, as is usual, uh, someone came to me today asking for blessings. I mean, a lot of people come asking for blessings, and I was discussing that a little bit with Narayan Nityananda Das, who is somewhere, probably setting up a book table. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that's the normal thing, that uh, people come and ask me, and I suppose they come asking various sadhus. I don't, I'm not exactly a sadhu, but trying to be one. And they come and ask for blessings. But actually, in Shastra, we find... Tadvigyan artam sagurum eva bhikachet. As Srila Prabhupada often quoted, for, for the sake of understanding that science, tadvigyana, which means this, the science of understanding spiritual knowledge, one must approach a guru. It doesn't say that one should approach for blessings. One should approach for spiritual instruction. Now, if we approach for, if we just ask for blessings, then it's just presuming that, well, I'm already doing everything all right and you just bless me. Isn't it? <clears throat> Srila Prabhupada said, the only question I asked of my guru was how to serve him. And Srila Bhaktisiddhanta Saraswati Thakur noted about Abhai Charan Dei, when this devotee was brought to him for initiation. Of course, later he used to be known as Srila Prabhupada, who preached Krishna consciousness all over the world, Bhaktisiddhanta Sasra Thakur noted that he likes to hear. He doesn't go away. So actually we should hear from sadhus. It's not just a matter of blessings. Blessings will be there automatically if one is attempting to follow the instruction which is given. <clears throat> In Bhagavatam also we find the uh, how one should approach a sadhus. Uh, no, no, uh, I can't remember the Sanskrit now. Uh, no, it just escaped my mind. Anyway, the purport is that uh, an intelligent person should associate with saintly people mm, evasya chin, santa evasya chindanti 
Manovya Sangam Uktibihi. And it stated that these sadhus, by their words, they cut the mental attachments. So one should approach for the sake of hearing and one's attachments to everything in this material world will, will be cut. Therefore, Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasura Thakur said that a sadhu is one who he cuts by his, his apparently harsh words. He cuts all the material attachments. So that's really the blessing of a sadhu. Often people come for blessings and just like for some material benefit, just like uh, yeah, this Narayan Nityananda was uh, reminding me this morning that uh, on a train, once Prabhupada, Srila Prabhupada was on a train in the first class compartment going from Madras to Nello. Now, of course, that's now Chennai to Nello. It's not a very long journey, about four hours. Prabhupada was in the first class compartment and someone, some gentleman came into Prabhupada's apartment. Prabhupada was sitting there with some of his sannyasi disciples. And the gentlemen, they, they came and they asked for blessings. And then the Prabhupada asked, well, what do you want blessings for? And the man was a little taken aback because he didn't expect to be asked what he wanted blessings for. So he said, well, for good health and business and he just kind of stopped because he could see that Prabhupada didn't look very appreciative of that. And Srila Prabhupada took the cloth of one of his disciples and said, this is my blessing. Do you want that? And the man just kind of got up and slowly left. He didn't want that blessing. So of course, I... I our devotees, they come and ask for blessings also. I also ask, then I ask them, well, what do you want blessings for? And they say, pure devotional service, usually. But do we really want it? Are we really ready for that? Are we really ready to give up all material attachments and completely surrender to Krishna? Otherwise, we shouldn't ask. Better we ask for instruction for instructions that will help us to advance on the path. If we just ask for blessings, are, are we really willing to accept that? Because if we really want to surrender, Krishna may arrange for that in various ways that don't seem very pleasant. Just like Srila Prabhupada, he was doing business in his Grihastha life. And then he got news that uh, his his servant had cheated him and robbed him and all his business endeavors were lost. Do you, do you want that? Prabhupada saw that as Krishna's hand. Yes, Yahamanugrihanami Harishay Tadhanang Shanai. Krishna says, Those who I favor, I take away all their money. Do you want that? Do you really want that? If you want it, you can ask for that blessing. If we're prepared to pray to Krishna that you please do whatever is required for my spiritual advancement. We find that in the case of Narad Muni, his mother died. He was bitten by a snake. He was a young boy. And he states actually that, that was a blessing. That stated that was a blessing on Narad Muni so he could be free of his material attachments. Are we ready for that? Arjuna was asked to kill all his kinsmen. We're not being asked to do that. We're being asked to chant Hare Krishna, take nice prasadam, sing nice songs about Krishna. So that's very good. We should do that. But if we really want to become Krishna conscious quickly, then we may be put through a, so many difficult tests. And if we're really ready for that, then we should ask for blessings. Otherwise, just to come, ask for blessings for what? So you can chant Hare Krishna a bit, go home, watch TV a bit, and, uh, you know, what is that? 
from for a life of mixed material attachment and some Krishna consciousness, we shouldn't ask for blessings unless we're really ready to accept them. If we're going to do if we're going to do something very some difficult service or some very significant service, otherwise it becomes very cheap. Blessings, blessings, blessings. We can come and we could come like Prabhupada said, ask is there any service I can perform? That's a, that's a better thing to come and do. Instead of, you know, I'll, ju- I'll just uh, go on in my own whimsical way and you just bless me. Rather, give me some instruction, give me some service. Tad vigyanartha. We should approach a sadhu for spiritual knowledge. Not just some uh, blessings, which is not very much defined exactly what that is. Or we may, please bless me so that I have taste for the holy name. Sometimes, I, when I ask devotees, they say, but are you prepared to do the work? Are you, are you willing to work hard to really concentrate and pray to Krishna? It's not just a matter of blessings. You have to do your work also. You may ask for blessings, but then why should, why should a sadhu bless you if you're not prepared to do your own work? It's just like Prabhupada said, Krishna didn't say to Arjuna, well, I'll just bless you, you go to sleep on this chariot and I'll just bless you that you win the war. He had to do his work. He had to, Arjuna had to decide to follow Krishna's instruction, which was very difficult for him in that circumstance. And uh, then he had, he was tested at every moment. He had to do something very difficult. We might not be asked to do something as difficult as Arjuna was asked to do. But we all have to pass through various difficulties if we are to be Krishna conscious. So that's very good if we can do that. Of course, in this country, you don't get much opportunity for that. But all over the world, there is, uh, in most places, there's opportunity for distributing Srila Prabhupada's books, for going out, meeting people, going door to door. Some people will welcome you. Some people will scold you. It's not very easy, but you got Krishna's blessings by doing so. So if you're going to do something like that, some service which we we feel is a, is a great challenge to us, and we, we it demands us to surrender at a higher level than we have been doing so, then it's appropriate to ask for blessings. But just, uh, I'll ask for blessings and I'll go on with life as I'm going on. Little chanting, little this, little that. If we want to go up significantly, make a great endeavor, then we should ask for blessings. Not just to go along in the same half-hearted or relaxed kind of way. So, like this, it's better to ask for blessings. Similarly, uh, we may just walk up to a sadhu, touch his feet, which is a nice thing to do. It's a good culture thing to do. In the West, no one will do this. They'll protest if someone does this. So it's, but at the same time, we shouldn't take it as a very cheap thing. Gorky Shodas Babaji Maharaj used to curse people if they touched his feet. <laughs> You think you're getting a blessing, but it's it's the idea that yeah, just uh, not thinking very seriously. What is this? That especially in the case of Gorky Shodas Babaji Maharaj, because he was so renounced. Then to touch his feet means you want to come into contact with him. You want to come to that level. Are you are you ready for that? So we shouldn't take this uh, very cheaply, very seriously. We should take it. When Srila Prabhupada was sending disciples from Canada to England, he trained them for some time in how to perform kirtan, various aspects of preaching. And before they left, there was, they asked, can we touch... Can we touch your feet? Otherwise, they weren't allowed to do so. It was, it was a great 
mission to go there where no one knew anything about Krishna and preach. So it wasn't like it was an everyday occurrence. You just walk up to Prabhupada and touch his feet. But they had some very great mission to execute. So they wanted to take some special mercy. And then we say, you want some special mercy. And then you should do some special service if you want special mercy. Why? Otherwise, why should you get special mercy? Srila Prabhupada had special mercy because he was undertaking special service. But if, if we just think that I'll get special mercy when, without making any particular endeavor any more than usual, it's a kind of cheating process. That we think I'll, I'll get some, I'll get something very cheaply. But bhakti, Krishna wants to see how much we are actually surrendering. That's why we have in the Bhagavatam the narrations of Prahlad, the narrations of Ambarish Maharaj, the Pandavas, because they they were greatly dedicated to Krishna. They weren't ordinary devotees. All right, I'll finish here. The devotees are looking at their watch, which means, I no, guess, no, we'll, no, we'll no. take that as a signal. No, no, please not. Please not. All right, are there any questions about that? More or less, I, what I had to say, I said anyway. There's no need to belabor the point. The sadhus are not meant to be blessing machines. But uh, by behavior and by words, they give instruction. So... Follow the instruction. To do do ha, that's the beginning of the verse. I've, I've to do do sangam utsrija. Mm. Oh, no. I remember the first one. Satsu sajeta buddhima. Yeah, I gave the last two lines of the verse. Now I gave the first two lines. Tato du sangam utsraja satsu sajeta buddhiman santa evasya chindanti manovya sangam uktibihi. So, therefore, one should give up bad association. Tato du sangam utsraja satsu. And one should associate with saintly people. An intelligent person should associate with sadhus. And what will you get from association with sadhus? They will. They will chindanti, they will cut all your material attachments by their words. Harsh words. Generally we think a sadhu should speak very nicely. Yes, yes, you're very nice. But according to Bhagavatam, they should cut, they should be cutting the attachments. If we want actual benefit, we should be prepared for that. Bhakti Siddhanta Sosra Thakur said, He is my enemy who flatters me. Oh, rem that reminds me. Uh, where's that book? I brought one. That, uh, Bhakti Siddhanta Vaibhav? Yeah. I'm, yeah. Oh, here you are. Very good. Thank you. I'm presenting this book to your temple library because I, I just brought three copies. I mean, it's it's a heavy book. How many can you carry? It's heavy, 3.5 kilos. It's heavy philosophically, Bhakti Siddhanta. Very heavy philosophy. And it's also uh, heavy linguistically because I imitated or tried to emulate his linguistic style. <laughs> by uh, using a somewhat complicated style of English. So, anyway, uh, I'm here by presenting this to the Temple Library. And if you'd like to get copies, you can uh, order them. And we'll here's the order form. And you can uh, fill up the form. And it will be delivered to your address in India. I think you already got that in India? He didn't order this one. Okay. 
So we already sent to quite a few people in Bahrain to their Indian address. And if you'd like to get it, you can get it. Like I say, it's a heavy book. It's not... Uh, it's not just like nice stories you can read and but it's it's very instructive very instructive from bhakti siddhanta came bhakti vedanta swami prabhupad so we can understand how how great he is so hari krishna i'll finish there unless there are any other questions uh, i also have a few books and available here in English, Telugu, Tamil, Hindi, Marathi, still have a Marathi book, maybe someone took it. They're available outside and uh, CDs of lectures also, including in Bangla. Any Bengalis here apart from you? One and a half Bengalis. No? Aro Bengali Achi. To me all. So uh, Bangla Shiji O Pawajabe Jarmadde Pray Kuri Baish Kota Ratse Potishta Volume Two. You got Volume Two? Ah, twenty four Potishta. Take a check. So Abner Jadi Santo CD on the Teparan Bangla CD Hindi CDs also. So, uh, yeah, you can take and you can also order uh, books which can be sent to you in India. And I'm sorry for the brief visit, but it's a big world and there are many places to go to. So we'll all, by the grace of Srila Prabhupada, meet in Golok Rindavan, have a big kirtan there. But in this lifetime, I can't stay that long. <laughs> Yes, any questions, please? Kara Prashna Jodi Thakke. Yeah, what was originally planned to be published as Lion Guru is published as Sri Bhakti Siddhant Vaibhav. Because his lion likeness is only one aspect of his character, it doesn't describe everything about him. Hmm? You can, you bring it from India, you can have it. You can fill in this form. You can fill in this form, we'll get it delivered in India, and then you, you can bring it to Well, his home's in Bangladesh. Anyway, that you have to arrange. There is indeed. Ichatakle upai hoy. As they say. Anyone, is, does anyone have any questions, comments, suggestions, protests, or anything else you'd like to say? Yes. May the Lord shower his blessings on you. That's one way of giving blessings to others. By invoking the blessings of Krishna on them. Yes, if someone says that to you, very good. Very lucky for you. But it's a very nice wish. <laughs> May Lord Krishna bless you all in your efforts to be Krishna conscious. <laughs> Hare Krishna, any questions from yes, the ladies? Uh, in spite of hearing so many instructions from sadhus, and then the attachment, the attachment is not gone, and just keep on increasing. What's the reason? Behind the attachment thing? increasing? Well, it yes. shouldn't be increasing. It happens. It may appear like that. Uh, it may be that... Uh, Srila Prabhupada writes about this, I believe, in the fourth canto of Bhagavatam, that sometimes Krishna may make all one's material desires apparent all at once. So it may seem that your material desires are increasing, but it's like they all it's like you bring out all the dirt and you can just clean it all away all at once. But then you've got to be prepared to clean it up. It's like sometimes you may have a carpet and you don't you don't clean it and then after one year you lift it up and there's, oh, so much dirt. And then when you start to clean it, it looks like, oh, what's happened? The whole room became so dirty. 
it appears that it's becoming more dirty, as it's in the process of cleaning. Anyway, we should have faith in the process of Krishna consciousness and go on with it. Uh, if we're actually becoming more contaminated, then we're probably making some offenses. Right? We're doing something wrong. Krishna consciousness is a scientific process. So if we're actually following it, we should be advancing. It may also be that we see, we're more able to see the dirt. Often beginners in Krishna consciousness think, well, you know, I'm pretty good. I'll probably be there and soon I'll be up there with Haridas Thakur and everyone else. But but uh, when we go on a bit, then we start to see how by, by getting spiritual knowledge, we begin to see actually... Uh, how many contaminations are there in the heart? So it might not be that they're increasing, it might just that we be, be that we're more aware of them. Anyway, don't be disheartened, keep on going. Utsaha Nisya Dharyat Tatat Karma Pravaratanat Sangatyaga Sato Vrite Shadbya Bhaktiya Prasidhyati. We should go on in Krishna consciousness with enthusiasm, determination, patience, Utsaha Nisya follow all the rules and regulations. Uh, give up the association of non-devotees and uh, follow the path given by the previous acharyas and we will attain success in Krishna consciousness. Anything else? Yes. What do I think? Yeah, well, that's just, yeah. All right, but we do have the whole Bhagavad Gita, Srimad Bhagavatam, and it's not that we just take two lines and throw out the whole shastra. And there are many things to understand. For simple people, it's simple. <laughs> That we do have a vast philosophy. The two lines that are given in Shastra are Smartavya Satatang Vishnu, Vismartavya Najatuchit. Always think of Krishna and never forget him. So that if you're chanting always in your mind, okay. Why in the mind? All right, yeah, anything else? Anyone else has any comments, questions, or anything else? No, all right, then we'll finish there. Hare Krishna. She's running to Krishna. Wants to go to Krishna. Don't go back. But you have to get trained up before you can be a pujari. Yes, all right. And then, uh, yeah, if anyone wants to take books, I can sign them also. And uh, thank you very much. Hare Krishna.